Hey everyone, today I'm going to be looking at Richard Burns Rally again, but this time, due to popular demand, I'm going to be looking at the Rally Sim Fans RBR. So this is a complete install of all the latest updates to Richard Burns Rally, which if you've not played it before, is one of the best rally games still on the PC, and there's a huge community around this. So I'm going to show you all through the install process today and how it looks and plays. As ever, do check out the rest of the channel if it's your first time here. There's lots more sim racing on the channel. Okay then, so the link is going to be in the description where to go to to get to this page here. This is the Rally Sim Fans Race page. Now, as you can see at the top here, we've got version 1.35.0 that we're going to be installing. And there is an installer there that you need to click on. Once you've clicked on that, it will give you lots of information of what you're actually getting. So this is a huge pack and it's actually about 25 gig when it's all installed, but you can choose what to install. And I'm gonna go through that with you. So if you've not looked at this before and you've not seen Richard Burns Rally, this is the best way to install it. So download that installer and I've got it on my desktop here. Once I ran it for the first time, it did say Windows protected your PC because it's an executable. So I just said run anyway, I know this is coming from a trusted source. Click on yes and you get the language that you want to install this in. So there is a couple of languages you can put it in there. I'm gonna choose English and click on okay. There is a lot of information that comes with this installer and I would advise you to read through it. Now I've already done that, so I'm just gonna skip through it and I'm gonna click next. One thing I will say, it does install a lot of cars and tracks and I'm gonna show you in detail where they are in a moment. On this next part, it does say where not to install this. So it is really important that you follow these instructions. If you were to install it in one of the places it doesn't want you to, you might get some really strange performance or it might not run correctly at all. So I'm just gonna choose my Steam games a disk drive to install this on, which I put many of my games on. So we're gonna put RBR in here and I'm gonna then install it. Now the install process is pretty large and I'm gonna go through that as I've said in detail because there are lots of things to pick and choose. So I did say it's 25 gig in total, but you can pick and choose what you want to install. So I'm choosing here the full installation, Richard Burns Rally, base game, original maps, and then all of the extras. You then can choose where you want to download this from, which there's two different servers. So I would just choose the default. And then this is what it's actually going to install. Now you can see it's huge. The reason for this is that all of this community around Rally Sim fans has put together masses amount of tracks and cars. And not only can you do this online, but you can also practice offline as well. So I'm just going to install everything and I'm going to click on yes for the English version of Pate's Notes. And then I think we're just about ready to go. It does say here that there's some extra pieces that you can install and some of these are pretty important. So let's just have a quick look through here. So you can see we've got texture updates. We've also got um, broken windshield updates. There's all sorts of things in here that are gonna add to the game. These are all effectively mods that go in on top of the main game. I'm gonna click on adaptive force feedback there because this game has got the most incredible force feedback. If you've not played a rally game with your force feedback wheel, this is absolutely the one to try it on. And at the bottom, you've got all sorts of different settings as well regarding the configuration file. Remember, this is a very old game and this has put in lots of things with it to make sure it runs on modern PC. PCs. Clicking next then and starting the install, you see you'll get progress bars going up. The top progress bar is the total install and the bottom one is the file it's downloading at the moment. Now, my internet connection, five or six meg a second. It took me about an hour and a half to install this. As I said, it's a pretty big file. But once it is installed, you will get this complete in the Rally Sim Fans Installer Setup Wizard, and you can see that you're absolutely ready to go. Now, when I click on Finish there, it's gonna start the launcher, and this is really useful as it has many options that will help you run the game correctly. So the first thing is that you can actually log into Rally Sim Fans itself. The website has a massive online community, so you can look on their website and see how that works. There's a number of things here about game menu and general game settings. Pace notes is a really important one. Now I've just installed the English pace notes. I'm not putting my pace notes on, so we can skip past that. Also, all your replays are stored in here as well. And the next one, screens and graphics, is really important. Because this is an old game, it wasn't built to run on modern PC. So everything that you can see in here is designed to try and make it easier to run on your PC. So I was actually running this in 4K at one point and it ran really well. So just have a look through these settings once you install for the first time and just see what 
you need to change if anything i think keeping all of these racing and replays on high is really important because obviously the graphics again are made from a number of years ago i think it's over 15 years 17 years ago this came out so check all these and make sure you're getting the best settings for your computer so i'm just changing a few things here i want it on miles per hour for instance and also do click on the apply changes when you've made any changes in here that will update the inner file and make sure that you're going to get the experience that you're looking for next up is controls and just to say that this works absolutely fine with all force feedback wheels and steering wheels so you can configure in game and there's also some control settings here so do take a quick look at that as well you can use force feedback effects here i've got that checked and also you can adjust the steering wheel range as well per car so there's lots of details in here that you can hone to make sure you're getting the best racing experiences also there's a lot of tips and documents there again a massive community around this that are really trying to make this the best rally game on the pc so do make sure you have a good read of all those and also it's worth checking out the forums on rally sim fans to make sure that you're doing other things to get this running optimally on your computer under the tips and docs as well there's also an advanced option button so if you press that you can again look at your cars you can look at telemetry and you can look at plugins and it's these plugins that really bring the game up to date so if you imagine the base game that's there and then these plugins are actually building on the graphics the sound the pace notes the replays whatever it may be and that's what brings this game really up to date now the graphics are still going to be what they are you're not going to get fours or seven graphics on this game but i think the game looks really reasonable for what it's doing but it's always about the handling and the way that these cars actually work on the track that is what makes rbr so good also if you do make some changes here or it's downloaded anything in the background and updating it might ask you to just restart again but once you've done that and you launch the game this is where you're going to get to so as you can see you've got online rally so you can join all the competitions that are on rally sim fans so there's some brilliant stuff that they those guys do you've got time trial you've got practice replay rally school options utilities and credits now I have covered the rally school in one of my previous videos and it's very similar to that these are all options for you to explore and you can do some really cool stuff and it will bring you up to speed really quickly I will say that this game is incredibly hard and it's important to point that out this is not an arcade rally game you can see on this practice options all the different things that you can change and I'm just going through some of the stages here you've got Harwood Forest 2 you've got new bobs you've got green hills you can see that they're all very different and they will go around the world some of them are gravel some of them are tarmac some of them are snow so you can cycle through these and the 25 gig install that i've put into this this is downloading all of these tracks so i can actually practice offline as well as run online there's some very famous tracks on here and you will recognize a lot of them so i'm just going to pick one and we're just going to show it in action also you've got stage wear wetness weather weather sky and of course you've got the car so we can cycle through these cars so hyundai i20 you've got the toyota yaris the fiat 126 what a car that is the audi quattro group 4 the opal escona the trabant p800 renault clio 16s williams obviously the scoobies the porsche 911 mitsubishi lancer evo and the citroen ds3 r1 the twingo you get the idea there's so much variation here and you can choose these in different categories as well so you can explore all these options and see which cars you want to actually be driving now i think i'm going to go with this honda civic type r fn2 version i know some people might say well that's not the car i would go for i'm going to try it on this and just to see what the game actually plays like also you can change the damage as well i've got it on realistic tires you can change the tire type i'm on gravel drive at the moment and also on setup there is so many options there too so i'm just going to click on start and i'm going to jump into this game and let's take a look at it in action Action. Flat right into over crest 30. Easy right. Easy right. Medium left 50. Over crest. Easy right 50. Easy left 70. 90 left 30. Flat left. Right into over crest 100, flat right 100. 
So that was just a small taste of what Richard Burns Rally 1.35 from Rally Sim Fans is all about. I'm only showing you one car on tracks. So I wanted to get the install process right for you today. So if you are new to this game, do download it. Check out the website. It's absolutely fantastic. Also, do give a big shout out to all the modders that are putting lots of effort into this. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys very soon.